Here we have a super gen right now, and we're running at approximately 15 amps, as opposed to the Series 8 unit, which ran at about 25 amps. We're now running at about 15. And that little noise you're hearing, that's the pump cycling right now from the reserve tank that's actually pumping water into the super gen to replace the water that's being used and converted over to HHO. And here we go, as you see, we're running right now at about 15 amps, and we're doing about 12.6 uh, to 13 volts. But there we are at about the 15 amp mark there on the gauge. And if we come around here, here's what the Super Gen looks like, the Series 9 model. And we'll get back here a little bit so you can see it. And there's a Series 9 Super Gen. Excuse the mess, uh, my shop is a little bit unruly right now. Been busy, 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 working and working. And here we get up close, and you can see the top of it. And I'll point out a few things. Over here is the autofill. This is the fill and view port. This uh, line right here is the hydrogen outbound, and directly over it, there's the fluid sensor level switch, which is located right down there. And that tells the pump and the reserve tank when to put water in, and that is sitting right over there. This is just one as a bench model, as you can see it. There's some condensate in the line to show you that there is gas going through the line, as you can see it right now. But now if we turn around and we go back here, here's the outbound right here and I'll go over here to these relays this relay over here this one actually controls the hydrogen generation and this relay is what controls the autofill which is through that switch that relay okay and that pump down here there's a pump as you can see it motor and everything that actually pumps the water and every once in a while you hear it go buzz buzz because it's putting water in automatically as the hydrogen gas is being produced and going out. There you go, it just went off again. And we'll follow the hose around so you can see it's actually coming from the unit. Here it is as my finger stays on it. We follow it along. You can see the HHO gas going through the condensate. You hear the pump cycling. It's coming over and there's where it's bubbling out the hydrogen gas right there. Now, so you can see the hydrogen gas, and this is only at 15 amps and 12 volts. It's not running at the 25 amps. We'll go ahead and light it off. That'll give you an idea how much is coming out of it. Now, that's hydrogen. It blows the flame out on the butane lighter. But that'll give you some idea how and what's coming out of there. And that's at 15 amps, roughly 12.6 to 13 volts right there. And you can see it coming out. And that's a 3 8 inch ID line. So you can see how much is coming out of it. It's kind of hard to see it, but that'll give you an idea. The camera just doesn't want to cooperate. But that's what's coming out of a Series 9 Supergen with autofill, built by MagDrive. And there you can see a condensate in the line, which shows the actual gas going through it. There's the tank, all right, which holds a quart and a half. And down there is the little pump for the tank, right there. There's the pump. If it only focus, we'd be okay. We're just too close for it, that's all. And as you can see, the tank is graduated. And as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. And from the top line, it's down one, two, three lines, which puts it about halfway. And it's been running now almost four hours. So if you were going down the highway at 60, 65 mile an hour, all right, you have gone about 200, 240 miles, depending upon your average mile per hour speed and you'd only use up roughly about a half a tank of filtered water. Keep in mind that this unit only uses maybe a flake or two of sodium hydroxide. It doesn't use as much as the other hydrogen generators we had used before. It only uses a flake, a portion of a flake, no bigger than uh, oh, a cross-section of a number two pencil eraser, 
And that's all the sodium hydroxide electrolyte that goes into the entire unit right over here. And there's the unit. That's all. Just enough to cover the top of a number two eraser and it will give you then, just with that little bit put inside here with fresh water and then using the tank to supplement the water as it's used, you would end up getting yourself, when you got it all done and said with, you'd end up here with, we can zoom it in, if it'll cooperate, you'd end up having just 15 amps. That's about it. No more than 15 amps. That's less than the blower motor on the air conditioner or heater in your car. 15 amps is less than that. They're usually fused at 30, 25 to 30 amps. So that shows you it's not using very much current at all in order to produce the amount of hydrogen that you're seeing and oxygen gas, HHO gas commonly known as. And that's about it for the Supergen Series 9 by MagDrive. So you can see how it's made, very close, tight fittings, machined very close, all right? You can look up here, you can see up above, underneath, all tight, tight, tight construction, bolted together, machine cut, tapped, drilled, dyed, and everything else. And that's how it's all put together. And that stainless steel canister is 316L stainless steel is what it is, surgical grade. And there's the anode right there. And if we can get around here, we'll show you... If we can, the relays, you'll be able to see the one there. That relay there is the pump relay. And then we'll come around this side. And you'll see on this side, right here, there is the relay right there that you can see which controls the gen itself. There's the two relays right there. And you look down there, you can see just a little bit of the wiring that makes everything all work and come together. And that's it for the MagDrive Supergen Series 9. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know the camera works not the best, but it'll give you a basic idea of what we're doing and what's going on. And as you can see, the little pump in the motor just pumped again, and it, of course it's still putting out. And it'll run here for another, oh, three, four hours. But to show you, here you go. There you go. That's hydrogen and oxygen, commonly called HHO. Thank you much. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.